Hi, this is John with Bank Account Bonus Central, and today's video is all about the problem with the new Apple Card. They just offered a brand new savings account, which pays 4.15%. So what is the problem with the new Apple Card 4.15% savings account? So we're going to be talking about that. Before we jump into specific details, I do have a quick disclaimer. Um, so I am a customer of the company's products mentioned in this video. I'm not affiliated or endorsed by Apple. This is my own personal review for informational purposes only. Um, so all the screenshots are from websites and emails. And uh, let's jump into what we have. Uh, first question is, when was the last time your bank paid you to open an account? That's the purpose of this channel, to help people make money off of opening up new accounts. All right, so... How much money am I talking about? $3 million. Got a $3 million challenge for the year 2023. I want to help at least 1,000 people make at least $3,000 from these videos, which would be $3,000. I'm sorry, $3 million. Um, if you can appreciate profitable content like this on a consistent basis, do me a favor, hit this video with huge thumbs up. Definitely do appreciate that. All right, so if you didn't know, uh, you have uh, the Apple Card. They just have a new uh, high yield savings account, which is at 4.15% APY. Um, you can look it up, apple.com. That's off their official press release. All right, so looking into uh, what the app looks like, you have 4.15% APY, which on the surface does sound really good. So uh, starting today, Apple Card users can choose to grow their daily cash rewards with the savings account from Goldman Sachs, uh, which offers a high yield APY of 4.15%, which is more than 10 times the national average. That's 415 times more than the big boys like Chase and Wells Fargo pay out. Uh, with no fees, no minimum deposits, no, manual, no minimum balance requirements, users can easily set up and manage their savings account directly from Apple Card in their wallet. That sounds great. That sounds really good, uh, much better than what's been going on for years and years and years where trying to get a 3% rate was a big deal. Now 4.15%, that's huge. I'm not going to read every word from this, but you can see that um, it does sound like a good thing. So only thing I really saw with it is that there is a maximum balance limit, which isn't mentioned until the very bottom. But that's not the big problem with it. it is. The big problem is you only get 4.15%. The Fed rate is almost 5%. So uh, 4.15 is much. It's, it's not hard to beat like at all. Um, it's very easy to get much, much more than that. So while it's good, it's not the best thing out there. And I want to show people how to make a whole lot more money than the 4.15%. So you work hard for your money. Why not make your money work hard for you? Why not? It takes a little bit of effort and a little bit of math skills. Um, and it's, it's really not hard. So why settle for less is the question. So uh, first, the... Uh, Question is, uh, have you ever wanted to invest in real estate without actually having to do what's involved with investing in real estate? You've seen the TV shows, you've heard the commercials and stuff like that. Fix and flip, uh, renovate, rent out homes and stuff like that. So you can see these people out there hustling and, you know, they're getting active. It's like, man, why can't I do something like that? Well, it's a lot of work. Um, I just got an email today from Ground Floor, which is something that I've been uh, promoting, something I really enjoy. Um, at the beginning of the month, we announced the expansion of our ground floor notes product, becoming eligible for all investors. Additionally, as part of our ongoing 10-year anniversary celebrations, we launched a special 10-year anniversary note offering, check this out, 10% returns on a minimum investment of 10000 So if you put 10000 into your Apple thing, your Apple savings account, you leave it there for a year, you make 415 bucks. Not bad. That's just simple interest. We'll just leave it at that. Um, this 10% return, leave it there for a year, you make a thousand, you make well over double, which is really cool. 10% returns with the minimum investment of 10,000. The introduction of the note has done so well, we raised the monthly cap from 5 million to 10 million. Despite doubling the size, this note is now officially sold out for April. Thank you to all who have invested in this anniversary note, as well as the other offerings, but don't fret. So they have, uh, if you uh, become part of Ground Floor, they have LROs, which you can invest in specific uh, properties. And they also have notes where you just invest in like the company they invested and they're willing to pay right here, rate 10%. That's huge. 
Uh, 30 day note is 4%. That's APY. I wish it was 30 per, uh, uh, 4% for each 30 days, but it's not that. Uh, 90 day notes, 6% APY, 12 month, uh, 8%, minimum 1,000. So you can put in 1,000 and get almost double of what the uh, Apple savings account is offering. So that's two ways to make a lot more. Uh, basically, almost double and way more than double, right? This one has $1,000 requirement. This one has $10,000 requirement. So there's still other attractive ground flow notes, which I just showed you available for immediate instrument investments. But the further good news is that our 10 year anniversary note will become available again for fresh run investments coming Monday, May number one. If this anniversary note fits within your investment strategies, mark your calendars on the 1st of May, rest assured, we will send out a reminder as well. In the meantime, please revisit your investments page to view uh, the currently available notes uh, still funding. So there's that huge thing. I did make a video about how to profit with uh, notes, passive real estate investing nationwide offer. Um, I do have, if you sign up and you put $100 into specific properties, you get a $50 bonus on top of that. So there's uh, even more money to make off that. And then you can put additional money into notes. So uh, link to this video up here on how you can profit off of people hustling off real estate. All right. So second thing is I've been working on what's called the infinite loop. Um, this is something that I'm hugely, uh, hugely uh, passionate about. That's the ultimate way to make money. So um, I prefaced this uh, thing in a video here called the superpower of the Chase Inc. Unlimited business card I never used until now. I made over $2,300 in year one from their sign-up bonus. Um, you can catch all the deets on that up here in this video. Um, so 2,300 bucks off one credit card. And it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing, extremely profitable. Uh, the superpower, the Chase Inc. Unlimited business card. So now I'm, I'm continuing that on. And the infinite loop consists of three parts. The first part is where you can buy CDs, typically through credit unions, with credit cards to get the tax-free cash back. So uh, different credit unions, they offer checking account, savings accounts, CDs, and stuff like that, where you can fund the accounts and it does count as a purchase with a credit card. When you use a credit card to purchase things, you get cash back or points or whatever. Um, those points and cash back are considered a rebate and not considered, they're not considered interest and they're not considered dividends. It's a rebate on your uh, spend. So it's considered tax free. So that makes it even more valuable. The second part is stacking that with the interest earned from the CDs. Thank you, Jerome Powell, for raising the interest rates to where this is a much more profitable um, endeavor. The third part is using a cashback debit card with PayPal bill pay uh, to get a third part of cashback. Finding um, one of these cards that doesn't have an F rating. A lot of people have been emailing me suggestions like, hey, check out the Better Business Bureau report on this. They're rated F and it's scary. Um, I don't ever play with anything that does not have a good rating with the BBB on account of there's a reason they have those ratings. Um, I'd rather much rather lose out on a little bit of money than uh, and much rather miss out a whole bunch of headache than uh, I'd rather go with stuff that's more reliable. Uh, it's been tough. I'm going to provide updates once I find something that I'm really confident in being able to share with everybody. So there's that. Hey, John, why don't you just tell us which banks or credit union you use? Well, then fine. I just made a video about this one. This one is Texas only, but Texas is a huge part. I know that there's a lot of people in Texas that watch these videos. Uh, this is well over $1,000. I mean, $1,000 I've made. A lot more than a thousand dollars off of this. So this is a video talking about the whole process about a plus federal credit union. They do have a sign up uh, referral bonus uh, talking about the infinite loop. So I have a link to that video here. If you're not in Texas, Barwick did something. All right, I do have another nationwide credit union um, that I use, been using for years. I can't match them on video. Um, they had a problem with me using their. Um, their logo in a video. They said, hey, don't do that ever again. Cool. Not going to mention you on video, but if you're curious about that, hit me up with the email at churningadventures at gmail.com and I can provide additional details that I cannot do on video. 
All right, so in order, I'm gonna continue making additional videos. Um, I have them queued up for different ones that I've signed up. Some are local, some are Texas only, some are nationwide additional ones, some are uh, different multiple states. Uh, I'm just trying to build up a little repertoire of these uh, just so in case one stops uh, taking credit card funding, I have other options to jump straight into. Um, this is one of those things where uh, you wanna get into the correct credit cards to take the most advantage of it. I remember reading on a forum where people were talking about the whole concept of manufactured spending, where people would go to a grocery store and buy gift cards and liquidate those with money orders. And people would say, hey, what credit cards do you use for that? Well, I use a double cash. Well, you get you spend one whole percent of that process in the, the, the uh, fee for the gift card. So you don't make much money off of this. If you're wanting to do this correctly, you want to get the cards that absolutely offer the most amount of cash back and make it really worth your while. So here's the cards I absolutely most uh, recommend for this. Chase Sapphire Preferred. You get an 800 or 80,000 point bonus. If you want to transfer that to cash, or I'm sorry, towards travel, um, that's $1,000 in travel rewards uh, just for funding one $4,000 CD, which is like ridiculously easy to do. So um, they just boosted up the offer for referrals only. Um, Phenomenal thing, I have a referral link here, earn 80,000 bonus points with Chase Sapphire Preferred. Um, so here's the link here, you can screenshot it, type it into a new tab, you can hit the QR code here, or you can always email me at churningadventures at gmail.com. I'll get you that link, make 800 bucks on top of um, whatever points you're gonna get off of that purchase, plus the interest off the CD. So there's that. So Ink Premier, this is my workhorse for this. Absolutely love this card. Um, it's got a thousand dollar cash back bonus, which is huge. You spend 10,000, which is like ridiculously easy to do. You're putting money into savings account. So take money out of your savings account, put it into CDs, uh, three month or six month ones. Uh, primarily it's much easier to find six month CDs where you can fund 5,000 or more, uh, for anything less than 5,000, you get 2%, uh, for, uh, right here, 2%, two per, uh, 2% cash back on every purchase. But if you spend on large purchases, on um, every purchase of 5,000 or more, you get 2.5% cash back. So if you spend 10,000 on the CDs, you get 2.5% cash back, that's 250 on top of a $1,000 bonus. Plus if you keep doing that, I mean, this stacks up awful quick. This to me is the best card. And it's not technically a credit card, it's a charge card. Charge card means they don't want, they want you to pay it off before the month ends. So you hitting the cycle lim uh, limiting or cycling the limit multiplying, they don't care because that's what this card is for. So to me, this is the perfect card. Well worth the 195 annual fee because I'm going to make way more than that. Um, I have a link to this card. Uh, so you hit your first uh, 10,000, you get a thousand dollars back. Yeah, so that's huge. Uh, so here's my referral link for that card. Uh, definitely recommend taking advantage of that. Definitely recommend using a referral link on account of I've been with Chase for well over 25 years. So use my referral link. You get hooked up with somebody with a long history of Chase. I got five uh, chasing cards. So I've never had anybody who is qualified get denied by using one of my referral links. So there's that. You got the QR code, their link, or hit me up on my email, churningadventures at gmail.com, and I'll definitely get you my referral link. So you can see here, uh, A-plus Federal Credit Union, I made a video on that, bam, they allow up to $49,000 at once. So I'm, I need to move limits around in order to be able to get uh, take advantage of that more. Uh, here, uh, 5,000 in spend, that's just boom. Uh, that's money. I have made uh, a lot of money off here. So this is 125 just for uh, one $5,000 um, uh, funding here. All right, so um, I've already gotten, boom. This is one thing you definitely wanna see if you get this card. Congrats, we had a $1,000 bonus to your Inc. Business Premier account. Um, and then, so I cashed out $1,250 plus, um, you have zero points as of April 19th, but I have over 50,000 points on my next statement. Plus I just did another $10,000 uh, funding for this card, so I'm gonna have uh, additional money off of that one. So that's going to be another 250. So I made well over $2,000 in my first two months with this card. What other card do you know of that provides that much just for opening up savings accounts? I mean, this is a huge, uh, hugely profitable thing. So 
Um, another card I absolutely recommend is if you're not interested in the 195 annual fee to get 2% back on everything, SoFi card. I have used this card for a bunch of other different uh, CD accounts, uh, easily able to hit. Uh, there's one uh, that I recommend that's $4,000 a pop uh, buying three month CDs. And I just hit that with the SoFi card. So they're cool with that. Uh, I do have a referral link for this card if you're looking for a sign up bonus. Um, I appreciate if you use my referral link. We both get a little bit of something out of that. Um, you can hit the QR code. You can hit me up at Turning Adventures. Also have the referral link in the description box down below for all of these offers. So just looking at the A plus credit union offer, um, doing the ten thousand uh, dollars in funding, you have uh, or the six month CDs. Uh, yeah, ten thousand for six month CDs. You have two and a half percent for the first six months. You have two and a half percent for the next six months, plus three point five six, which is what the CD pays uh, in an annual basis. That's eight point five six percent, with five percent of that being tax free. That's huge. So much better than what Apple has to offer. Um, bank account bonus central verdict on this: the Apple savings account rate is excellent. If you don't, if you need your money in the short term, so it's good for that, and you don't want to lock it up in a CD. But if you have money that you want to grow for way more than 4.15%, the infinite loop and opening up accounts with credit cards and paying it off is a, and keeping the money off the interest off that, that's a way more profitable thing. So more videos definitely will be coming down the pike on this uh, topic as I'm opening up additional accounts and providing additional data points. So there is that. Uh, I still have comments off for these videos. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, complaints, hit me up, churningadventures at gmail.com, and I will get back to you quickly. It's up for Sundays. Uh, so today's question is, what does it mean to follow Jesus? So a lot of people say the name of Jesus, and they can say, hey, I'm a Christian, and whether you're actually a follower of Christ or you're just a uh, cultural Christian. Hey, I go, I was raised in the type of family, or, you know, I, I go to... To, to church and Easter service because it's just kind of expected. But what does it mean to actually follow the Lord? So a couple of three scriptures about that. The first one's First Kings 18.21. Elijah stood in front of them and said, How much longer will you waver between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal is God, then follow him. So there's ultimately two options according to scripture. If the Lord is God, then follow him. If Baal, Baal is a representation of any other idol that's out there. And there's so many idols in this country. I mean, you may not think of yourself as having idols in your life, but there's so many idols out there. For example, sports is a huge idol. People idolize sports. Um, if you go up to like any high school athlete and you say, hey, who's your idol? And you'll be surprised how quick kids are to say, hey, this person, this person, this person, this person. I want to play like them. They are who I look up to like that. These are people that we worship. Um, musicians. I mean, so many different people. There's a show called American Idol for crying out loud. You know, so many different things we put up in our hearts above God. If the Lord is God, follow him. If Baal is God, well, then follow him. Don't, you know. Um, Joshua 25, 15. If it is unpleasing in your sight to serve the Lord, then choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods your father served beyond the Euphrates or the gods of the Amorites in these lands you're living, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. There's a difference between serving the Lord and serving any other thing that's considered a God. People worship the sun and nature and, and, and moon and, and springtime and, and stuff like that. Uh, Matthew 9.9, 9, if you want to talk Old uh, New Testament, Jesus went on from there. He saw a man named Matthew sitting at a tax booth. Follow me, he told him. Matthew got up and followed him. Tax man. Back in that day, made a lot of money. That was a coveted thing to have, especially if you were in a, in a wealthy area, because they could levy all the taxes they wanted on people, and the people had to pay. But Matthew was given a choice. Continue in your lifestyle or follow Christ. And he, he forsook his lifestyle. It was not an idol to him, but he followed Christ. And it cost him. But he also gained so much more. Um, and giving up idols in my life, God's given me such a peace and joy that I've never had before. And I want to share that with y'all. Additional information on this is on how to follow Jesus from gotquestions.org. Link on that is down in the description box down as well. Uh, another thing that holds people away from God is addictions. I want to see people be spiritually free. I want to see people be financially free. You can't be spiritually free if you have any sort of addiction 
Online pornography is a huge one out there. I have an affiliate link in the description box down below for Covenant Eyes. Uh, if this is something that's been an issue in your life or you know somebody it is, um, use my uh, referral link in the description box down below. Get your first 30 days free. Um, Covenant Eyes is something that it's out there to help people overcome addictions like in this area. Finally, if you're still here with me, definitely appreciate it. Like the video if you appreciate profitable content like this on a consistent basis. Share this with anybody who'd be able to benefit from it and subscribe with bell notifications so you can be amongst the first to learn about such profitable things. And with that, look forward to seeing the next one. Peace and may God bless you.